What's going on, everyone? All right, so the PTS dropped was a couple days ago. Now we've got our new gunner specialization. So I'm just going to get right into this. We're going to go over the skill tree of exactly what the gunner specialization has. All of the other uh, specializations that you see here have been updated with the new uh, perks, uh, allowing you to spec any weapon to that sp particular uh, skill tree. But, you know, for right now, we're just going to go over the gunner because that is the most... Uh, important and the most um popular choice at, right now so let's go ahead i uh, see how uh see how it all goes some might call it overkill i just think it's adapting the circumstance I know I didn't have to show that video. I just like I just like watching it. It's something new, something fresh. So, anyways, right now, so here's the skill tree for the gunner specialization. Right now, what we have here, starting off, is the riot foam grenade. The riot foam grenade and it snares enemies. I love the riot foam. I especially love using it uh, with the cam launcher, and it's also part of one of your tasks for the uh, rewards um, that you'll go through. But using the riot foam grenade is it's pretty fun. So that should be interesting in uh, in combat. Next, we've got the incessant tier one passive talent kills grant 5% armor on kill. That is really nice. And I can already tell you that the gunner specialization here is a is going to be a tank heavy based uh, loadout. So being able to spec your build to accommodate all the perks that the gunner's uh, specialization has will definitely be you'll be able to be as tanky as possible. Next, we've got the Coupler Tier 1, Passive Talent. Every fifth reload is 50% faster, like that. Next is the Hardened Armor Kits Talent. Armor Kits repair 100% armor and grant 50% bonus armor for 10 seconds. That's going to come in handy so much. We've got the Signature Weapon Damage, like all the other specializations. Tier 1, Passive Talent. 10% increase Signature Weapon Damage. Weapon Scales with the Tier. This increases in addition to the Scaling. So, uh, 4 tick marks. So, if I'm correct, it should be... 10, 10 times 4, so 40% uh, increased signature weapon damage. So hopefully our signature weapons will have that increased damage and should surpass the exotics. Hopefully that is. Next, uh, passive talent, 762 minigun ammo acquisition. We've got the group signature ammo acquisition passive talent, killing multiple enemies without releasing the trigger adds one to group members' ammo bar. So nice. Having the mechanic of knowing when your specialization ammo is going to drop is such a plus in the PTS. We've got the Banshee. The Banshee launches a forward arc of pulse energy that confuses enemies caught in the wave penetrates cover. We've got a mod to increase the duration of the Banshee confuse effect. And then we've got the directional transmitter mod to increase Banshee range effect. That is going to be very interesting. That's going to be very fun to use. I can't wait to start specking this out and actually delving right into it. Supply line talent, generate 10% of total ammo capacity every 60 seconds. Party members recover 5%. Barrage talent, rate of fire increases by 5% on kill for 5 seconds. And placement talent, 20% weapon handling whilst not moving. Need to be motionless for 1 second. Vital protection, passive talent, reduce the chance you are critically hit in conflict by 20%. Should we, I'm interested to see how this specialization actually holds up in conflict. It will be pretty interesting, so... Hopefully, one of the PvP guys that we know of uh, will definitely use this to conflict just to see how it works. And then we've got the P320 X Compact Item 9mm Service Pistol of the U.S. Military. Its compact ergonomic design makes its impressive stopping power. So, now what's been changed to all the specializations is finally you are able to spec your entire loadout to the weapons that you're carrying, to your primary and secondary. This, I think, is one of the best decisions that have been made for the specializations. That way you're not geared towards using only a certain one. You have the variety of using, say, your crossbow with a LMG and a shotgun if you really wanted to. Or your sharpshooter with an assault rifle and a SMG. The viability of being able to spec out your specialization and your build just opened up a ton of new doors. So like right now I'm running my, I have my uh, 
AR right now, 50% increase assault rifle damage. I'm probably going to do an LMG passive talent on this as well with the gunner. I just feel that it'll work better. It'll be necessary. Um, but yeah, and then we've got the large pouch, bigger than standard pouch that fits on any belt fed weapon. Uh, yeah, so this is the gunner uh, specialization perk tree. Very fun, very interesting, um, very in tune with wanting to get it specced and just testing it out, especially in all the missions, you know, the challenging missions, try and go for heroics. So we'll see. I wonder how well it's going to hold up and raid with title update four drops. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people trying this specialization out. I don't think it'll be quite as valuable during the raid because the raid is such is so specific and there's already a technique. So adding the gunner specialization to it, I don't think is going to actually help in a way, maybe for ad control, but I wouldn't recommend everyone running a gunner specialization because you're just not, it's not going to be as quick and necessary than the raid times that are right now. Cause I think the, the quickest raid time right now is like 13 minutes. Um, I don't know. That's my two cents on it. So yeah, so that there's your gunner specialization skill perk tree. Now for an interesting treat, other than the gunner specialization perk, there has been released a new exotic holster called the dodge city gunslingers holster i grinded out for this after i found out about it on reddit and i wanted to see what the holster was all about i've seen people do that but i haven't seen anyone actually really go through and achieve the components for this what was interesting during the uh the grind for this holster was that each of the enemies had a cowboy hat. i just thought that was really funny um but it actually it, it felt really it felt worth it. Now, the fact that this is geared towards using a pistol, yeah, okay, I understand. I Pistols aren't really used. I mean, I did a video on uh, taking down heroic bounty with a with the Liberty Deagle. And, you know, I just want a change. But this should be interesting. You know, this holster, uh, Dodge City Gunslinger's holster. So we're going to go into this right now. And... I'll show clips later on. I might make a separate video for this, but I just want to go through this exotic holster and just go over the talents of what, uh, of what we have. So, Dodge City Gunslinger's holster, it dropped at 500 gear score, or he crafted a 500 gear score. Uh, so, the talents on it are Slave Hand, 20% accuracy, 20% stability, 40% reload speed, 400% optimal range, 20% revolver damage. Requires a pistol equipped. So, you can have any pistol equipped for the uh, Slave Hand to work. However, as you can see, 20% revolver damage kind of recommends that you use a revolver. Quick draw, swap it to your pistol, reloads all weapons. And then perforator, shots fired from your pistol penetrate enemies. Pistol headshot kills grant plus 20% weapon damage and allows your primary and secondary weapons to penetrate enemies for 8 seconds. This duration is increased to 11 seconds with usually a revolver. Uh, right now I have, there's... Three mod slots, two offensive, and then one utility mod slot. So I've got my offensive mod slot, you know, plus 2.5% weapon damage, uh, assault rifle critical, and then 1.5% marksman rifle, and then 1% weapon damage, 4% marksman rifle, and then 2% damage to armor, and then utility protocol. Nothing too big, just 120 skill power, shock duration, burn duration. So, yeah. So there's the Dodge City Gunslinger Solster. Probably make another video showing how to get the Dodge City Gunslingers, but... I just wanted to go over this real quick, show you guys what it is, what to expect. Uh, the grind wasn't too bad. Four, four heroic control points. Um, it was just mostly control points. And then a time gated within game um, of intercepting a convoy. So nothing too big, nothing too you know, out, out, of, out of control. So yeah, it's very interesting. I'm actually really happy that they're finally going to start adding exotic uh, gear pieces because... Uh, back in the Division One, having those exotic gear pieces, you know, like the Ninja Bike backpack, uh, berets, bull, uh, bulletproof vest, like that, that made builds so much more viable, so much more interesting, um, and build worthy. So yeah, so there's your Dodge City Gunslinger's holster. We went over the Gunner specialization. Um, I'm still having so much fun with it. Uh, it it's a blast. So you have a lot to look forward to with Title Update Four. Um, other than that, I've got nothing else for you. Like I said, I'll probably do another video on the Gunslinger's holster, but I wanted to go through it quickly with you guys and the, go through the talents. And then I'll make another video showing how to get it if you're doing the title update uh, for PTS. But if not, it's good information. That way you know what to do when it does drop, if it is going to be the same. 
So anyways, so I appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you like what I'm doing, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications for more Division 2 content, and then I will catch you guys around. All right, take care.